It was a wild scene. A man accused of shooting a Boston police officer then gets shot by police. You can see his door still open as he tries to speed away. Tonight, the police officer is recovering from the traffic stop that turned into a gun battle. But not the suspect. Katie Brace is in Roxbury with more on the investigation. The Boston police officer who was shot is now recovering here from surgery. What began as a routine traffic stop ended up as a shootout with a career criminal. You get nervous seeing that, those kind of things. Nervous seeing a car with bullet holes crash in front of the house. It was the end to a violent confrontation. It started early this morning when Boston police officers pulled over a car driven by this man, Kasim Kareem, in Roxbury. A suspect exchanged several rounds of gunfire with the Boston police officers, resulting in an officer being shot several times. Sources say the officer was hit in his left bicep and twice in his right hand. Surveillance video shows Kareem's car speeding away from police, the driver's door hanging open. Kareem finally came to a stop when he crashed into several vehicles on a nearby street. Big boom. It didn't like a normal crash. It frightened this woman so much she would not show her face. She called 911, and the surveillance video shows officers rushing to the scene. Realized the gunshots in the window. And the man inside. And the man inside. Police confirmed Kareem was found dead behind the wheel. You know what happened? You know what happened? Those who knew Kareem would not comment. Right. Neighbors, though, had plenty to say about keeping the streets safe. It's very dangerous. If an officer can get hit, we are nothing. Kareem has a lengthy criminal record involving charges such as violating restraining orders and larceny. Last month, he was given two years in prison on a firearms charge, and it is unclear at this time why he was still on the street. In Boston, Katie Brace, WBZ News.